When it comes to creating video content, sound is one of the most important parts of that process. Good sound in a video can make all the difference. Whereas bad sound? For me, in the space where I used to record, there was wood floors, tiles, window, all the things that made my recording sound echoey. I just got some sound diffusion panels for my birthday, 12 to be exact, and rather than just place them on the wall, I wanted to make some larger panels that I could move around if I wanted. My name is Donovan, and I'm gonna show you how I made some Tetris sound panels. It started, like I often do, by sketching out some of my ideas in my notebook. And then I took my sketch and made a model of it in SketchUp. I want the trim to outline and contrast each of the panels, so I'm going to border each piece. So I went and I picked up some 3 quarter inch quarter round trim. Now I chose quarter round trim instead of flat trim because I figured the trim itself could also act as sound diffusion. I also got a sheet of quarter inch plywood. I chose some flooring plywood which is treated with a moisture barrier. Since I live in Oklahoma and it is ridiculously humid here, I didn't want the panels bending and warping over time. I cut down the plywood to three 27 inch pieces and then measured and cut them to the Tetra shapes. I left them a little bit bigger just to be safe because I figured I could always go back and trim them down later. I then started cutting pieces at 45 degrees. And after gluing up a few of the squares, I started gluing the trim to the plywood backing. And then cut and set the inside pieces. One thing that really helped during this process was to use a straw to clean up the glue lines as I went along. It was super helpful. Once the frame was done, I sanded it all. Then I sprayed the panels with a couple coats of water-based clear matte polyurethane. I took a bit of the quarter round that I had left over and I glued four pieces together to make a circle. I cut the now two inch dowel into discs glued and screwed them into the back of the panels, which allowed me to run a string of LEDs on the back of each piece. My thought was that the LEDs backlighting it would give it that extra element to make these pieces just look cool. And there they are, backlit. Not that you can tell, one of the things that I realized is that since the LED strips face out, there's nothing for them to like reflect off of to backlight. What I should have done is that I should have mounted them directly to the back of the panel so that the light bounced off the wall instead of going out the sides of each of the pieces. So using the holes that I made to drill the bumper discs onto the panels, I screwed the panels directly onto the wall. I then took some double-sided tape and attached the sound panels. I really like how these turned out, not just because they're functional and help me record better audio, but also because they look great. Enclosing the area with acoustical materials, 
reduces the degree of reverberation.